what up YouTube? It's your boy Jay, aka Straight Drop Jay, and you're now watching Reason Gang TV. So today we're gonna go over the Hydro Nexus 2. This is a workstation rompler, which means it's a hybrid of a sampler and a synthesizer. Now it's not an open sampler as the helium is, it is also just a rompler, meaning it comes with a huge preset sound bank of wave rom sounds and it lets you build upon these pre-sampled sounds now this is huge it has a huge huge um sound bank yeah it's a little bit long to download it but it gives you tons of options to begin with now the the hallmark effects on this rack extension is a parallel based double automated filter system it has the A filter and the B filter side, which are not in series. It means they're separate, but uh, they filter differently at the same time. They take the same sound, split it in two channels, and you can apply different filters automated and different filters automated on each side. This gives you very cool, unique effects on sounds. It also has an AHD analog harmonic distortion effect feature. And this adds that gritty analog sound tube or transistor sound, even reason hallmark screen type of sound distortion. But uh, it's really cool. It also has a couple more features. Of course, it has the onboard reverb, delay, chorus, phaser, and uh, it also has tone control, which is like sort of like a simplified EQ in the analog harmonic distortion section. This also has pitch vibrato for that ghostly sound or that tape drift sound. But uh, let's get into the details. That was just a little bit about it. But just know it's a powerhouse. It was my first development uh, for DNA Lab software. And it came out a few years ago, but it's still bumping with the rest of them. Let's go. All right, we're going to start with a reset device. I have a little loop I recorded. The first thing we do is go to the instrument select and let's try a bell. There's a bunch more. There's leads, monosynth, pads, polysynth, strings, pianos, choirs, everything. Uh, we'll start with a bell. Oh, uh, let's try Angelic Legacy. Okay, so the first thing I added a little release, just a little bit. Now, when we begin, it has the X filter engaged volume halfway. So if we want to bring in the Y side, we just bring up the volume. Now, it's playing the same exact thing, but I'm going to bring it down an octave. Now, we can add a filter on one on the high side, the X side. And we can automate this using the LFO. Sync it, tempo sync. Add a little resonance. We could even add a bit of envelope attack. Okay, this is all going on the left side to the X filter. Now we could pick different filters. And we could fade the main mix, even pan it. Now this side is the, the Y filter. We can also add a different type of filter. Let's try HP, high pass. Now 
Let's bring in a sl slightly less, slightly less speed on the LFO. Maybe change the shape and less amount. Pan it to the right a little because the X filter has a little pan to the left. Now we're starting to get slightly, slightly more relaxed sound with the slower LFO. Spatial, spatial imager is the Haas effect. It is, I believe, 21 millisecond delay to create width. Okay, now let's add a little reverb. And a, the stock stock settings sound pretty nice. Might juice a little bit of the decay up. Delay. Dampen it slightly. A little bit too much reverb. Let's bring it down. Okay. Now we come to the AHD section. We can add a little harmonics. That's solid state, transistor, tube, emulation. That's that warm saturation. I like solid state. It's a little more transparent when you bring down the levels. And let's add a little highs for that crispy sound. Juice up the lows. Now, we can add a little bit of the ghost sound, which is either the saw or the sign. And let me show you how to do that. You could play with the rate. Or you can also give it that tape drift sound, which I like. You, we use random, the random waveform, and we juice up the depth a little bit. You see how it's drifting slightly in and out of tune? Now, finally, I like to add a bit of chorus, sometimes chorus and phaser for a thickness. Maybe a little too much tape drift. Mono retrigger converts this polysonic synth into a monophonic synth. Okay. Now the pitch range, of course, this controls the pitch bend. Hydro mod is an L a low pass filter with slight resonance for that Drake effect. Listen. It's a submerged hydro filter. So you could take any one of the sounds you make and instantly give it that dark feel. That is how you make a sound in the Hydro Nexus 2. Now, the back has gate and CV input and your standard left and right output. Uh, it shows the, the signal chain if you're interested. And uh, I believe we went over everything in this. There are more than just bells, of course. There's bass, basic sign, triangle, saw square, saw 16, uh, synthesizer, bass sounds. Uh, there are actual bass sounds. There are bell sounds, brass, choir drum sets mostly trap there are leads 
The leads are pretty, ex- pretty, pretty nice. I like them. I put a lot of time into de- designing the leads in this um, rack extension. There are mono, m- mono synths, pianos, extensive amounts of nice pianos and strings, pads. Uh, of course, there are poly synths. There are. Well, here's some new updated pads right here if you didn't. I mean, bells if you didn't see them up here. There are more. These are the updates at the bottom. The updated sounds, the the pads, the bells, the polysynths, the new strings and pianos. The leads I added, X, Y, and Z, and the new choirs. But there's so many sounds to begin with. It's incredible. And it keep it retains all the settings that we have just made and we could just scroll through these instruments. So let's go down to some leads. And you could basically scroll through these and see how the different instruments sound with all the settings and sound designing parameters you added. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple sounds from the Future Trap Symphony refill, and here are a couple. Dripping Sink. Outer Limits, <laughs> that sounded crazy. Phase X Dreams. Sick bass. Unsolved bells. Angelic gates. Atropo saws. Active Reversal Piano Halloween Saws Apocalypse Strings And that's just a few of the sounds um, there's there's a there's a bunch of refills for the Hydro Nexius but I just wanted to show you the capabilities of it. Pretty cool sounding rack extension. Um, That's the end of my tutorial, guys. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on the Hydro Nexius Workstation ROM 2.0. As I said before, this is my child. I developed this a couple years ago, and it was my first rack extension. Um, I hope you guys make some dope sounds with it. And once again... Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm nothing without y'all. I appreciate uh, all the gang members in the Reason Gang Squad. Uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Salute.